show your physical. Light riding on the ball game. You get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. Hello and welcome to Hooton's Arkansas Football. I'm Chad Hooton and for the next 18 Saturday nights we will be right here bringing you exciting action from all around our great state as the high school football season is just two weeks away. In fact, two weeks from this very day on Saturday, September the 1st, it's the Altel Hooton's Kickoff Classic. At high noon, Little Rock Central will take on West Memphis. Then around 2, 2.15, right after the Central game, Wynn will take on Shiloh Christian. Should be a dandy. And right after that game, about 5 o'clock, the Fayetteville High Purple Dogs will take on the mighty Marshall, Texas Mavericks. That's on Saturday, September the 1st, the Altel Hootons kickoff classic at Quigley Stadium at uh, historic Little Rock Central High School. That'll be a great day. That's two weeks away. Tonight, we're going to preview several of the better teams in our state, and we'll get started in just a second on Hootons Arkansas football with a peek at Class 5A coming up. Hootons Arkansas football is brought to you by First Security Bank, by Landers, by Sonic, by Arkansas Heart Hospital, by First Baptist Church of Springdale and the Church at Pinnacle Hills, by Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield, by the Marines, by the Arkansas Hospital Association, and by Alltel. It's where you go when you need a helping hand. It's a place the community turns to in the face of tragedy. When you're sick, we're here to help. And when you're well, we're here to keep you that way. At times of pain and hardship, we help pick up the pieces and put lives back together. We're your local hospital, and we're here when you need us the most. The Arkansas Hospital Association, important for life. Hi, I'm Leslie Basham. You know, Lander Chevrolet is your dealership with pride. Proud to be the fastest growing Chevy dealer in the state with the absolute best service, best selection, and definitely the best price. You see, at Lander's, we don't hype a big sale because you get the lowest price every day. After all, isn't the best price exactly what you're looking for? Come on out to Lander's country and visit the fastest growing Chevy dealer, Lander Chevrolet. We're an entire team. An entire solution. An entire hospital. Fighting heart disease. Beating heart disease. Working to one day eliminate heart disease. We specialize. Concentrate. We focus on taking care of the heart. That's what we do. We give hope. We give life. We give second chances. We give the very best cardiovascular health care available. Arkansas Heart Hospital. The Heart Hospital. The Heart Hospital. Now, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, brought to you by Arkansas Heart Hospital. The reigning king of Arkansas Class 5A football is Cabot, and the Panthers opened the 2001 season ranked number one by Hooton's Arkansas football. That's probably a little disappointing for the Cabot faithful and coach Mike Malham, who used a lack of respect for motivation last winter when the Panthers finished undefeated 14-0, scoring underdog victories over 5A West Powers, Fort Smith Northside, Springdale, and Southside in the playoffs. Fullback Kenneth Ewell was the only Cabot player to sign a college scholarship after last season, but the Panthers will also miss gritty nose man Jeff Brannon, linebacker John Baker, and athletic quarterback Aaron Peoples, who guided the offense to 320 yards per game last fall. This year, Sonic Super Team linebacker Stephen Owen leads a group of 10 returning starters that should win 10 regular season games again. But unlike last year, Cabot will likely have to go on the road in the playoffs in November, at least in the semifinal round, and it will likely travel west. Little Rock Central is ranked number two in Hooton's Arkansas football preseason poll, and the Tigers open the season a day late on Saturday, September 1st, at home against West Memphis at the Alltel Hooton's Kickoff Classic. Central should be explosive, with seven returning starters on offense, including the best quarterback tailback combo in the state. Josh Sullivan is a standout catcher on Central's baseball team and has a major league arm. The six foot four senior passed for more than 1,000 yards as a junior and is our Sonic Super Team QB. Tailback Dedrick Poole is an All-America candidate and has been offered a scholarship by the Razorbacks. 
He is already Central High's all-time leading rusher with an incredible 4,200 yards and 42 touchdowns over the past two seasons. In his 24 varsity games, Poole has rushed for more than 100 yards 21 times. One of the most common questions we get asked, you know, compare him to Cedric Cobbs. Well, he's not Cedric Cobbs. Cedric Cobbs is a completely different type of tailback. He's a tremendous back, Cedric is. Dedrick uh, has great vision. Uh, and he's got great hips. He, he sees the field. He's just like another coach on the field for us. He studies the game. He's, and, and he's constantly looking for things in a ball game that are going on where he can crack a hole, find a hole, find something to happen. But his competitive nature, I've, I've never been around anybody like him with his competitiveness. He's, he's uh, at the top of the list in that category. West Memphis had an easy road to the semifinals last year, but was still the surprise team of the playoffs. The Blue Devils won their first playoff game in seven years with a first round decision over North Little Rock, and the next week they set a national single game rushing record with 878 yards in a 74 to 37 romp at Russellville. This season, seven starters return on defense, and West Memphis hired dandy head coach Lanny Doukes away from McGee in the spring. McGee played for three state championships and won 63 games in six seasons with Dowks. I don't know. I know we've got some good football players, but I know everybody else does too, so we really don't know what to expect out of it yet. We're just trying to, last four weeks, we've been just trying to put our basic offense and defense in, and uh, I know we're way behind everybody else in our league, so we're going to try to do a little bit this summer, but uh, hopefully get things around so we can get most of the offense and defense ready by the non-conference games anyway. A monster crowd is expected to see Coach Dowks and West Memphis play Dedrick Poole, Sullivan, and the Tigers at Central's historic Quigley Stadium, which has been cleaned up and dressed up for the big afternoon of football. It's Saturday, September the 1st. Tickets are on sale now at First Security Bank locations in Spalding Athletic, 12th and University in Little Rock, or you can get them on game day at the gate. They're $7 and good for all three games. It's the Alltel Hootons Kickoff Classic. Fort Smith Northside finished third in the West last season, then creamed Conway 45 to nothing in the first round before losing by 18 points at Cabot in postseason play. An explosive Northside offense graduated eight starters, including quarterback Matt Jones, who is currently competing for the backup QB spot at Arkansas. However, in the offseason, Northside picked up Fort Smith Southside's and Alma's top running backs. Those two super team transfers and six returning starters on defense means Northside is certainly a state title contender again. Well, we've been reminding our kids of how bad Cabot wanted it last year, and we've, we've got to find that same desire and intensity they had. And here is a look at Hooton's Arkansas football preseason poll for Class 5A. Hey, Cabot, you're number one. Central is number two. Both teams from Fort Smith could play for the state championship. Southside has arguably the top returning defense in the state. Bentonville is a surprise at number seven. The Tigers were voted by the coaches in the West to make the playoffs for the first time since 1995. But that was before Bentonville lost their head coach suddenly in the spring. El Dorado is number eight, then it's Fayetteville and Bryant. The second ten starts with Conway, Van Buren, Rogers, Jonesboro, and Mills is a surprise all the way up to number 15. Russellville is at number 17, then it's Jacksonville, Mountain Home, and North Little Rock. Next Saturday night, we'll talk more about Class 5A teams, but up next, we'll preview Alma, Moralton, Hope, and others in Class 4A straight ahead on Hooton's Arkansas Football. It has kids everywhere on the edge of their seat. It's fun. It's smart. It's Penny Pockets. First Security Bank superhero for kids' savings. It's smart to save, and now it's fun for the kids. They'll receive lots of cool toys as their Penny Pocket account from First Security Bank bounces to new heights. Trips to the bank have never been this fun. Let Penny Pockets help your kids earn a great start on saving money. Get all the details when you hop in at a First Security Bank location near you. First Security Bank. Just a hop, skip, or a jump away. Can confidence have a color? What about trust? Is there a shade for feeling secure? For being protected? How about a hue that reflects reassurance? Or paints peace of mind? Is there a color so brilliant? For many, there is. It's blue. Blue and you. 
Remember, with silverware, you start at the outside and work your way in. Dessert spoon is at the top of the plate because dessert is always served last. Proper ladies and gentlemen always follow these rules. No. If you just can't wait for dessert, drive into Sonic for Eat Dessert First Month and try our new peaches and cream pie shake made with bits of real peaches. Get any of our cream pie shakes with a juicy Sonic burger, all for just $2.99. Now, more of Hooten's Arkansas Football, brought to you by Sonic. In Class 4A, the past four state champions have hailed from the West, and the Alma Airedales appear ready to continue that legacy this fall. Alma has won 12 of its past 14 playoff games and has played in three of the past four state championship games. A veteran defense that returns five starters should allow Alma to make another run at Little Rock. But star running back Don Simpson transferred to Fort Smith Northside during the summer, and the Airedales must find a successor to graduated quarterback Russell Scoggins. 4A West coaches believe Moralton will be the team to finish second behind Alma in the conference. The Devil Dogs should have plenty of offense with quarterback Keith Stowball and running back Kevin Foster. Those two combined for 39 touchdowns last fall. But Moralton lost two games by one point in 2000 and must learn how to win the close contest. The win Yellow Jackets have lost in overtime in the semifinals each of the past two seasons. With seniors Rob Lawson and D'Angelo Williams in the backfield, the Yellow Jackets should again win at least 10 games. Uh, we've got some people who can run in. Our problem now is finding some people up front that can block somebody. Batesville missed the playoffs for the first time in five years last season, but the Pioneers returned 10 starters, and according to 4A East Conference coaches, they had the best junior class in that league. Well, Chris Carradine is our tailback. He's back and would have been a three-year starter. Injuries uh, knocked him out of part of his sophomore year, but uh, Chris is going to do some good things for us, too, at tailback. Uh, worked really hard in the offseason, had a good summer, so uh, looking for him to really be one of the leaders on offense. Pulaski Robinson appeared poised to snatch a playoff spot last October in its first season as a member of Class 4A, but eight starters were injured during the remainder of the season and 12 sophomores ended up starting in the season finale. Uh, those sophomores are back. Uh, we don't have a very large senior class, but they're a bunch of hard workers. We've gone more two platooning this year where we can work harder offensively and defensively. When the Little Rock Fair moved down from Class 5A last year, many coaches thought the War Eagles would coast to the state title game. But instead, they struggled to a fourth place finish in the 4A Southwest Conference. I honestly believe this. I think uh, as far as 5A, 4A conferences, our conference from top to bottom will be the best there is. And I know the West in 5A is tough, but I mean from top to bottom this year in our conference, anybody can beat anybody. The War Eagles believe Fair can return to prominence on a statewide level if the defense comes through. Key defensively is uh, controlling the pass because, you know, in our conference, a lot of people pass the ball, and we got to be able to cover the pass and cover the run at the same time, but mostly we like to take care of the pass. And here is a look at Hooten's Arkansas Football Class 4A preseason poll. Alma is number one, a spot the Airedales are very familiar with. Then it's Moralton. Hope surprised everybody last year with a run to the state title game. The Bobcats are lightning quick again and could have another great year. Monticello won the 4A Southeast Championship last year but lost in the first round. With 10 starters back, we think they should go further this time. All of the players in win and the Yellow Jacket fans are excited about playing in our kickoff classic on Saturday, September the 1st. Arkadelphia is number six, then it's high-powered Osceola. The Harrison Golden Goblins, Watson Chapel, and Magnolia rounds out the top ten. The second ten starts with Little Rock Fair, then it's Batesville. Searcy may be overlooked by many in the 4A West. The Lions were put in a predicament last year when 15 underclassmen quit the team in early October. Fourteen of those players have returned to the team, including running back Earl Young. At number 14, it's Whitehall. Then it's Herve Welch taking over the duties at Greenwood and checking in at number 15. Newport is 16. Then another coach in change over at Hot Springs. Alfred Muhammad inherits the Trojans program. They check in right behind Stuttgart. Then it's West Helena and Malvern rounds out the top 20. Coming up next, a look at Class 3A football. Family, kids, parenting, finances. Join me for a special series entitled Family.com. On August 19, our ministry launches the Church of Pinnacle Hills located at the Champions Exit on Interstate 540. I will be speaking at the main campus in Springdale and the north location in Rogers each Sunday. 
Join us on August 19th for family.com as our ministry becomes one church in two locations to better serve your family. We're an entire team. An entire solution. An entire hospital. Fighting heart disease. Beating heart disease. Working to one day eliminate heart disease. We specialize. Concentrate. We focus on taking care of the heart. That's what we do. We give hope. We give life. We give second chances. We give the very best cardiovascular health care available. Arkansas Heart Hospital. The Heart Hospital. The Heart Hospital. Remember, with silverware, you start at the outside and work your way in. Dessert spoon is at the top of the plate because dessert is always served last. Proper ladies and gentlemen always follow these rules. Now, if you just can't wait for dessert, drive into Sonic for Eat Dessert First Month and try our new peaches and cream pie shake made with bits of real peaches. Get any of our cream pie shakes with a juicy Sonic burger, all for just $2.99. Hooten's Arkansas Football, brought to you by Lander. Surprise, surprise, Hooten's Arkansas Football thinks the Nashville Scrappers will again play for the Class 3A title. After all, Nashville has played in that game five of the past eight seasons. Coach Billy Laird loves quarterbacks with strong arms and experience, and senior Brian Pope possesses both. Pope has started in two straight state title games, and he passed for 22 touchdowns last year. But the offensive key could be junior Willie Hobson. Hobson didn't start until week five last year, and he still rushed for more than 1,300 yards and 18 touchdowns. Boonville has lost just three games in the past three years, and Coach Ken Rippey believes more wins are in order this fall. Quarterback Brad West, who called an audible and ran 59 yards for the game-winning touchdown against Nashville in last year's championship game, can execute the wing tee offense to perfection. Boonville won it all with a speedy defense that forced 53 turnovers last year. Kyle Arnold returns at linebacker, and Ronnie Becker is back in the secondary. After the tomato talk, there was state title talk in Bradley County last year after Warren bombs Nashville in week three of the regular season. But the Lumberjacks staggered into the playoffs and bowed out in the second round. The maturity of strong-armed quarterback Reed McKinney should help Warren deal with pressure and win some close games this year. And, uh, Reed McKinney is a returning starter at quarterback. He's about 6'2", 205, uh, great arm. Uh, he's going to be our leader this year. Our receivers, our main guy is Brett Smith. He's going to be a junior, super sophomore, uh, great, great leader, great athlete. It's going to be a, you know, it's going to be a great year to coach him. And then we have uh, Kurt Sledge who's coming back, two-year starter. Jeremy Simmons is a two-year starter. And then uh, Terrence Hampton, who's another super sophomore at wide receivers. Everyone loves a Cinderella story, and Pulaski Academy could wear the slipper this fall. The Bruins won nine games in 2000 and were very successful in seven-on-seven -seven competitions over the summer. Quarterback Thomas Thrash threw for more than 2,700 yards and 42 touchdowns last year, and some experienced receivers could help him eclipse those numbers this fall. We've got just about all of our skill players coming back. Thomas Thrash had a great year last year, set all kinds of school records, threw for 42 touchdowns. Scott Hilburn was hurt into our third game last year. He's coming back, so he's going to help us out at receiver. We've got Quentin Jones coming back, Blake Miller on offense. Uh, some other guys that are up and coming that are going to help us out. Tradition Rich Atkins hasn't appeared in the playoffs the past two years, but folks in the 5 AAA think the Red Devils and sensational junior running back Nick Stokes are ready for a return to the postseason. Okay, Nick Stokes had a great year last year as a sophomore, both on offense and defense, and you feel like He's, going to, he's done nothing but get better during the offseason. Probably one of the hardest workers we've had in years at Atkins. Nashville opens the season ranked number one in Hooton's Arkansas football. The Scrappers have not lost a game at home in six years. McGee is number two, then it's Boonville and Warren. The Dollarway Cardinals lost three games in the final ten seconds last year. Pulaski Academy starts the second five, then it's DeQueen, Dardanelle, Godsnell, and Ozark. The Hillbillies won 12 games last year, but 20 starters graduated at Ozark. 
Hamburg starts the second 10, then it's Ashdown, Pocahontas, and Rivercrest. Tradition Rich Fordyce is at number 15. The incredible backfield of Kentrell Rogers and Harry Vinson is back. That dynamic duo means the winning continues in Dallas County. Bald Knob is number 16. Then it's Dover with 13 starters back from a team that won seven games last year. Lone Oaks 18, Dumas 19, and the Farmington Cardinals are at number 20. Coming up next, more of Hooten's Arkansas football, a preview of Class 2A straight ahead. Remember, with silverware, you start at the outside and work your way in. Dessert spoon is at the top of the plate because dessert is always served last. Proper ladies and gentlemen always follow these rules. Now, if you just can't wait for dessert, drive into Sonic for Eat Dessert First Month and try our new peaches and cream pie shake made with bits of real peaches. Get any of our cream pie shakes with a juicy Sonic burger, all for just $2.99. are on the edge of their seat. It's fun. It's smart. It's Penny Pockets. First Security Bank superhero for kids' savings. It's smart to save, and now it's fun for the kids. They'll receive lots of cool toys as their Penny Pocket account from First Security Bank bounces to new heights. Trips to the bank have never been this fun. Let Penny Pockets help your kids earn a great start on saving money. Get all the details when you hop in at a First Security Bank location near you. First Security Bank, just a hop, skip, or a jump away. Now, more of Hooten's Arkansas football, brought to you by First Security Bank. Hooten's Arkansas football predicts Shallow Christian will play for its fifth and final Class 2A state championship in December. Why will it be the Saints' last appearance? Because they move up to Class 3A in 2002. Why will they play for the AA crown again this winter? because record-setting quarterback Rhett Lashley and his senior teammates are hungry and focused after being upset in last year's final by Ryzen. That's, that's our number one goal. You know, we always start out the year. Number one goal is to get back to Little Rock, and uh, especially after what happened last year, uh, we want to redeem ourselves and uh, come back with a championship. Lashley has completed an incredible 545 passes for 8,836 yards and 116 touchdowns in his varsity career. Coach Wood calls Lashley a Troy Aikman at the high school level. Lashley could be even more effective this fall with a talented line in front of him and Nick Floyd at fullback behind him. Floyd will be the feature back in an expanded running game for the top-ranked Saints, who open the season Saturday, September 1st, against Wynn and the big Alltel Hootens kickoff classic. I mean, I think it, it could be even a, a better atmosphere this year uh, with six teams coming in. I mean, obviously we're playing a Wynn, who is obviously unbelievable. If, uh, we got such a rich tradition, so uh, hopefully we can just hang with them and maybe have a chance. Graduation and off-season defections leave defending state champion Ryzen vulnerable in the 7AA East this year. Senior quarterback Eric Green is an efficient winner with a 20-4 record as a starter, but all-state running backs Roderick Smith and Shermar Bracey are gone. Junior fullback Chris Ballard and all-state linebacker Corey Gray boast 4-5 speed, but a lack of size and depth up front could keep Ryzen from defending its conference championship, much less its state title. It's a tough conference, uh, a lot of good players in it, a lot of good coaches and a lot of good teams. And, uh, you know, there's there's a good team from our conference that won't make the playoffs. And so, you know, it's uh, I think it's just a testament to how tough our conference is. Boxite won a state title in 1996 when current Rice All-America candidate Dan Dawson accounted for close to 2,500 yards and 42 touchdowns. The 2001 Miners featured two-year starting halfback Damian Sowell, a two-time all-conference linebacker who should surpass 2,000 career yards rushing early this year. Look for the Miners to go deep into the playoffs. Danville was the surprise team in double-A football a year ago, advancing to the corner finals with a win at Harding Academy. And with eight starters back on defense and All-State halfback Sean Avery returning, the Little Johns loom large this year in the 4-double-A. Well, it's going to be tough. You know, we, uh, we feel like we're going to be pretty good, but the Charleston Tigers are still the team to beat. The Hector Wildcats invested heavily in the off-season weight room in an effort to return to their 4AA championship form of 1998 and 1999. Senior lineman Jeremy Nichols and Ramey Emerson and juniors Josh Hanna and Travis Pruitt cleared the way for Hector's dead tee attack. 
We got uh, Kyle Burris, who's a senior. Uh, he's been with us for two years. Uh, put up some pretty good numbers the last couple of years. And Chris Ashlock, a very talented junior. Uh, Chris has legit 4-6 speed, uh, one of those type game breaker type. Uh, got some good moves, just one of those type that I think we're going to get him the ball uh, as often as we can. You know, dead T, we try to get our fullback a lot of carries, and he's definitely the type. Kyle's more of a power runner, which is going to kind of give us a good one-two punch. Magnet Cove must find a successor to Arkansas Monticello signee Vic Barrett. Shown here throwing for a touchdown pass against Charleston. Senior Justin Worrell, an all-conference safety who picked off seven passes last fall, is the likely successor. Harding Academy tries to rebound this fall after an uncharacteristic early playoff exit last year. A young defensive front took its lumps in a disappointing postseason loss to Danville last November, but should be a team strength this fall. Prep All-American Jeb Huckabee, now a Razorback linebacker, and a talented group of skill position players must be replaced. Junior Caleb Keyes gives Harding a more serious running threat at quarterback. Well, this year we're a little different than we have some size up front. Uh, Jeff Cavett, uh, one of our starting tackles, uh, about 260, and, and then we have another kid, Michael Barnes, who has a chance to be a real good player for us. He's in the 260 range. so. Both guys are pretty strong, so we, we've got some good good people up front, which will be better there than maybe we've ever been. Now the Hootons Class 2A poll. Shallow Christian is number one, and the Saints open the season Saturday, September the 1st, against Class 4A win in the All-Tell Hootons Kickoff Classic at National Historic Little Rock Central. Come see one of America's top drop-back passers, Rhett Lashley, lead the Saints against Win on that Saturday afternoon, September the 1st in Little Rock. The defending state champs are number two. That's the Rising Wildcats. Then it's Junction City and Carlisle at number four. Carlisle was young last year, but is ready to reclaim the 5AA North in 2001. Boxside is number five. Then it's Charleston, Camden Harmony Grove, Danville, Barton, and Hampton. The second 10 starts with Mark Tree. The Indians have a new head coach. Tim Branham takes over and he inherits the top program in the 3AA. Mineral Springs is number 12. Then it's the Murfreesboro Rattlers, Harding Academy Wildcats, and Gurdon Go Devils, who have averaged nine wins the past four years. Hector's number 16, followed by Salem, Magnet Cove, Desarc, and the Augusta Red Devils round out the top 20. Now the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Opposing defenses learn quickly that it's hard to stop a fullback with 4-4 speed, as Bryant's Matt White accounted for over 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns last season. But Matt also excels in the classroom, where he's earned a 4.0 GPA. And Matt credits the same hard work ethic for his success on the field and off the field. The classroom is the most important thing because football, I can't play it forever. I'm going to have to support myself at some point and go out and i got to make the grades to make the money, I guess. A realistic perspective from the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Thanks a lot, Mark, and congratulations to Matt. Hey, the guy can run and read. And thank you for watching Hooton's Arkansas Football tonight. We will be back next Saturday night with more previews of more great teams next Saturday right here on Hooton's Arkansas Football. You make sure you're physical. Well, I'm riding on the ball game. Get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. Check this out.